In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a binary number to a decimal number using Python. So for example, the binary number 101011 converts to the decimal number 43. The math for this conversion looks like this, where each digit in the binary number has some associated weight or worth, which is some increasing power of two. So for example, this last digit in the binary number has a weight of one, which is two to the power of zero. And the next digit in the binary number has the weight of two, which is two to the power of one. And the next digit in the binary number has the weight of four, which is two to the power of two, and so on for the rest of the binary digits in this number. Then to find the equivalent decimal number, all we need to do is sum together the weights of the digits of this binary number, which are set to one. So here, because we have one, we'll have 32. We have a zero here, so we have no 16. We have a one here, so we have 32 plus eight. We have a zero here, so we have no four down here. We have a one here, so we have 32 plus eight plus two. And we have a one here, so altogether we have 32 plus eight plus two plus one, which gives us 43. So to perform this conversion, we'll first prompt the user to enter a binary number. So here we'll have binary is equal to, and we'll call the input function and pass it the string, enter binary number. This will prompt the user with the text, enter binary number, and the input function is going to return the text the user enters as a string. We'll actually convert that string to a list using list. This will then give us a list of strings made up of one character each, where each character is a digit in our binary number. Let's output binary to see this. Here we'll have print and binary. Then if we save the program and try it out here and enter in 101011, we'll see here we get each digit of our binary number as a string in this list. We have 101011. So the next thing to do is sum together the weight of each of these digits of our binary number. So here we'll create a variable called decimal, which is going to store the converted number. We'll initialize decimal to zero because we're going to go through each binary digit in that binary list and add the weight of that digit to this decimal number. So let's create a loop to go through each digit of our binary list. And as we do that, we'll want to know the power of two that each digit is worth. To know this, what we'll do is create a loop counter variable, which is going to go through each of these exponents here. So the counter variable is going to go from zero to one to two, all the way to five with each loop iteration. We'll have here four i in range, and we'll pass range the length of our binary list. So the len function is going to return the length of the binary list, which in this case here is going to be six. That means this counter variable i is going to go from zero to one to two, all the way to five with each loop iteration. Let's output i just to confirm this. We'll have here print i, and if we save the program and try it out here and enter in 101011, we'll see that i does go through the exponents that we need. We have zero, one, two, all the way to five. Next, what we'll do is sum together the weights of the digits that are set to one. And we'll do this by popping off each item in this list with each loop iteration from the last item in the list all the way to the first item in the list. And if that list item is one, then we'll add the power of two for that digit to our decimal number. So we'll use a pop method call to continually pop off the last item of the list. We'll have here next digit is equal to binary.pop. And this call to pop will continually pop off the last item of the list and store it into next digit. Then what we'll do is check to see if that digit is one. So we'll have here, if that next digit is equal to one, then we're going to add the weight of that digit to our decimal number. So we'll have decimal plus equals, and we'll call the power function and we'll get two to the power of i, where we know i is the relevant exponent for this digit. And this will do it. Now down here, what we could do is output some information to help us see what's going on. We could have here print, and we'll output the digit that we're currently looking at, and we'll have times 
2 to the power of, and we'll output i. Let's also output the converted decimal number. So we'll have print and decimal. And if we save this and try it out and enter in 101011, we'll get here the correct decimal number 43. So it is working. And we can kind of see what's happening with each loop iteration here. We're here in the first loop iteration, we're looking at this digit here, which is one and is worth two to the power of zero. And then in the next loop iteration, we're looking at this digit here, one, which is worth two to the power of one and so on. Now, one more thing we could do is add some user input validation to make sure the user inputs a valid binary number. Because right now the user could put in, let's say 108, which is not a valid binary number. And right now we don't handle this situation. So let's add some user input validation code to force the user to enter a valid binary number. Up here, we'll now have a while loop. And this while loop is going to continue to run until the user enters a valid binary number. We'll still prompt the user in this way, but now we'll check to make sure each string in this list is either zero or one. And we'll use a list comprehension to help with this. We'll use a list comprehension to produce a list of true or false items based on looking at each string in this binary list. We'll have here true if the string C is either zero or one, otherwise we'll have false for each string C in the binary list. So this list comprehension is going to produce a list of true or false items based on looking at each string in this binary list, which we'll call C. Now, if that string C is either zero or one, we'll add a true item to the list. Otherwise, we'll add a false item to this list. So this list comprehension should produce a list containing only true items if all the strings in the binary list are either zero or one. So all the items in this list should be true if we have a binary number. Now the all function is going to return true if all the items in the list it's passed as an argument are true and false otherwise. So we'll use all to check if all the items in this list are true. And if they all are, that means we have a valid binary number. In that case, we'll use break here to stop this loop. Otherwise, we'll have this loop run again to prompt the user to enter another potential binary number. We'll use an else case to output a message reminding the user that binary digits must be either zero or one. So we'll have print and we'll have all digits must be either zero or one. So if we save this and try it out now and we enter in 108, We'll now get here, all digits must be either zero or one. And if we enter in 101011, that's valid. And again, we'll get 43 as the converted value. So this is how we can convert a binary number to a decimal number using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.